Hi, my name is Louise. I'm one of the diabetes midwives based in the Irish Natal Clinic in Milton Keynes. If you have been diagnosed with gestational diabetes, we will ask you to monitor your blood glucose levels four times a day until the birth of your baby. And today I'm going to demonstrate to you how you would do that. So with following diagnosis, we will ask you to come and collect a pack. And in that pack, you'll be given a box which contains your meter and various leaflets that you will need. We will also give you our contact details for you to contact us at any point and we will obviously support you any time. So um, in your pack you've got your kit. Um, in your kit you've got your um, Lancet device which you would use to prick your finger. You've got your testing strips in here um, and then your um, meter which works by Bluetooth and syncs to your phone. Um, and on your phone um, you download an app called GDM Health app which allows us um, in the diabetes team um, to help you monitor your blood glucose levels. So first you need your needle, so you would unscrew um, the cap off there. The needle goes in this way round, so you've got the cap at the top there. Push your needle inside as firmly as you can and then carefully twist and pull the cap off. Save your cap for later and then just pop your cap back on and then push and twist at the same time to secure it. Um, the white dial here is the depth of your needle. Um, usually it's set to the maximum. Um, we normally recommend that you set it to the either the second or the third dot. If you're not bleeding very easily, you can always increase that um, as trial and error. So before you do any testing, we recommend that you must always wash your hands first. Um, usually with just water, but if you're using soap, make sure that you rinse it really, really thoroughly. Um, just because anything that you've touched, including things like lotions and alcohol gel, can affect the, the reading, um, the result. So wash your hands, and then when you're testing, you would always use the last three um, fingers on either hand, and just alternate things that you're using to give it a break in between. So always test on either side of your finger, and avoid the tip or the middle pads, just because these are the most sensitive parts of your finger. So what you would do is pop your testing strip in your meter first, so it's ready, um, which are in here. You've got enough strips and needles to last you a couple of days, so a good three days, um, but you'll need to get some more from your GP, and in your pack you'll be given a letter to give to your GP to get more prescriptions. So these testing strips go into the meter, the lines go in there, and just push it all the way in. Just avoid touching the end of the strip, because again, it may um, contaminate it and affect the reading. So once you've pushed it in as far as it will go, the meter will turn itself on automatically, and then you're ready to so you would grab your um, lancet and you would put some pressure to your finger and click the blue circle. Sometimes if the blue circle doesn't, um, isn't working, you need to reset it by pulling um, that bit out and then try again. So you would prick your finger. You want a nice blob of blood. You don't need too much, but you want a nice, a nice blob. Once you've got that, these strips are very, very sensitive. So you would 90 degrees, just gently touch it to the blood, and once you hear the beep, remove it. And then within a few seconds, it will give you a reading. So once you've got your reading, you can um, pull the strip out with your tissue, the machine will turn itself off, and then you can just pop that in the bin. Um, so the reading would be sent through to the app via Bluetooth, and in your pack you will have a leaflet on how to do that, and we will go through that with you and over the phone as well. So the next thing is um, you, need to, you need to change your needle. So these needles do blunt straight away, so you would need a new needle for every test that you're going to be doing. So to do that, grab your cap that you had earlier, pop it on a hard surface, unscrew the top, click it into there like that, and then eject it using the part on the side, like so. Pop your cap back on, and then you're ready for your next test. These needles, once used, must never go in the normal household rubbish. These must go in a yellow sharps bin, which we will provide, which we will provide for you. Um, and that's it. Um, any questions? We're always here. Feel free to contact.